Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Yes Style winter haul. We have some clothing pieces, accessories, we also have shoes for the first time, and there's also some Korean skincare and makeup products in today's video, so there's quite a lot of items. Also super exciting, Yes Style is doing a giveaway. They are doing a giveaway for one US $100 coupon. So if you guys wanna enter, I'll leave all of the information in the description, so make sure to check that out. I think we have a total of 30 items in today's haul, so I'm gonna get started right away. If you guys are curious to what I got, then just keep on watching. All right, so for the jewelry pieces, I got three necklaces for this haul. So this is the first necklace that I got. It's this faux pearl necklace with like a gold chain and it has like a faux pearl pendant at the bottom like that. This is a two-piece layer necklace and I think it's really cute. I thought it would go well with like cardigans or knits, so I did get this. That is what it looks like, super cute. And then this is the second necklace. This is also like a faux pearl necklace. It has a butterfly pendant in the middle like that, you go like this. And then this is the front part. I feel like this type of necklace is really easy to wear on your own because you can just kind of do that. This one also I think is very cute. I really like it. And then we have the last jewelry piece for this haul. We have this two layer necklace. This is in a silver color. It has like a chain and then this ring pendant at the bottom. I feel like layered on with different necklaces. I think this would look nice. It's kind of on the longer side though. So Ooh, I like that one actually. I feel like compared to the other necklaces, this one kind of matches what I'm wearing a little bit better. Mm, I'm not sure. But that's what that one looks like. So I got a pair of glasses and these are a silver pair of round kind of oval glasses. I did get a few pairs of glasses on YesStyle and I really, really liked them. So I did get a silver pair. I did take the lens part off because they do reflect the light. But when I put them on, these are what they look like. I feel like they're kind of like a longer shape, very comfortable, they fit well. So I think these are gonna be another pair of glasses that I like to wear. And then the last kind of jewelry or accessory piece that I got is this hair claw. It's in like this ivory kind of, it's kind of like a yellowish color actually. I have a lot of hair, so unless it's like a really big size, I feel like it's very hard to find a hair claw that gets all my hair. It's really cute, but it also does a really great job at holding my hair. It's a lot of hair, but it does a really good job. It's like sturdy, has a firm grip. So moving on, we are gonna go to the clothing pieces. For this haul, we got a bunch of outerwear pieces, jackets, coats, and stuff like that. So. I think this is going to be a good one, but I'm going to put all the clothing pieces on the floor now and I'll show you what I got. So we're going to start with this faux leather jacket, it looks like that. It's a kind of like a shorter length for a jacket. I wouldn't really say it's cropped because I feel like it's still is pretty like a, it's a good length, but it is on the shorter side. It has a collar here, buttons going down, these two pockets in the front which I think is really cute. And the sleeve also comes with two buttons in the front like that, so you can button it up if you want, like that. And then the back just looks like this. It's also lined underneath, so it does have this lining. It's a pretty thin material though, so I don't think wearing this alone during the winter is gonna keep you warm, but I feel like because it is a thin material, it's nice to layer under different clothing items. Compared to the pictures, it looks just like the pictures. Honestly, I like it even better because it looks really nice in real life as well. Also, I'm just gonna show you guys what it does look like buttoned up all the way. This is what it looks like. I feel like for this jacket, actually, I'm starting to think that it would look better when you kind of close it all the way like that, also because of the collar area. So that is what it looks like, super cute. Second item we have is this faux shirling jacket. It's in this white color, looks like that. There are two colors for this. There was a pink one and this one. I actually have a faux shirling jacket that is kind of around the same pink 
shade. So I did get this one. It does have a zipper here with this ring. Zip it up and down. It is lined underneath as well. The sleeves are like this. It has an elastic wristband area back like that i feel like this one is really nice because it comes with this really big hood when i tried it on the hood is so big it makes the jacket even cuter so that's one of like my favorite parts about the jacket and you do get two pockets in the front in the pictures it did look oversized i would say it looks pretty much exactly like the picture like the fit and everything it's a very baggy look it's all very very good no loose threads or anything Super nice, looks super comfortable as well, so yeah. Next item I got is this super puffy corduroy jacket. It's so cute. It looks just like the pictures. This is what it looked like in the pictures as well. This is what the sleeves look like, super puffy. Also an elastic wristband. Also has a zipper here that you can pull down and it's lined underneath as well. I think puffer jackets are like really cute and they're very cozy. So for this one as well, this like corduroy type of material is very nice as well. It also does come with pockets on each side and they're lined. However, I think the pockets are a little bit more um, up like at the top than it should be so when I do put my hands in my pockets They're kind of I have to like reach for them But other than that everything about this jacket is very nice Very cute. I feel like though because it is very puffy It's not going to be something you can really layer a lot under but also I do feel like Because it is on the thicker side This alone will keep you warm next item. I got is this coat. This is a beige coat for this one I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. So I did get the x large. I think that one Was probably the biggest size they had the quality of it is not bad It's lined underneath. It's kind of like a thicker material. It has pockets buttons going down a collar the sleeves the back However, for this one, I do feel like it looks a little bit different than it did in the pictures. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like in the pictures, the fit, it's not even about being oversized. I just feel like the style of the jacket is a little bit different than it was in the pictures. At the top, when you button it up, I thought it was going to be like that throughout the whole jacket, but there's like a double layer for the buttons starting from the second button. So when you button it you can't see it anymore so i kind of wish the buttons just showed all throughout the style of this coat is a little bit different than i thought it would be but i mean it's still like a nice coat i don't remember if there were other colors but the beige one is what i got the next item i got is this blazer and skirt set this is a check print blazer in this brown shade it has a collar here sleeves there's two buttons and pockets in the front like that. This is what the back looks like. The quality and everything is pretty okay for this one as well. It looks just like the pictures. The skirt also looks like this. That is the front, it's like that. Zipper at the back. And then it also has lining underneath, but the lining is short. So the zipper works pretty well as well. Compared to the pictures and everything, it looks pretty much the same. The color and everything is very accurate in the pictures. I don't think I have any blazer sets. Like I don't have like a blazer with a skirt set, but I think that's a very pretty look. And I also do think it will look good with the beige coat together. So did get this one. And then I also got a black mock neck top to wear with the blazer. And then some of the other items I got so I just got this black mock neck top. And then I got a pair of dress pants. These are the high-waisted dress pants and I got them in the color gray. They are wide leg pants. The button is over here. And then the zipper. These pants aren't lined. And this also comes with a belt loop. Pockets in the back, they don't work though but the 
front pockets do work. You get two pockets in the front. The size chart was the same as the skirt size chart. So I just got this one in a small as well, but it fits really tight. So I feel like I should have gotten a medium because then I feel like it would have been better. But these are just kind of like a nice pair of dress pants. The quality of it is nice. And I got these to pair with some of the items that I'm going to show you next. Other than the sizing, I feel like everything about it, it looks just like the picture. So the next item I got is this knit vest cardigan. Looks like that. The buttons in the front, so cute. This is a cropped knit vest. So it is a little bit shorter in the front and then it's a little bit longer on the back. Looks like that. Back has like a different print like this. You have the option of wearing it buttoned or unbuttoned. So I feel like that's very nice. I feel like the length for it isn't so short. So like it's a nice cropped length. And I actually really like the colors as well. Like this dark purple with this gray beige. I like how it's a little bit toned down. Um, very cute. So got this one. And then the last clothing piece I got is another knit vest looks like that this has like these heart prints it's very adorable kind of like striped pattern it has like this like green shade ivory the hearts are like this bluish purplish color i don't know if you guys can tell but also the this is a navy like a dark navy the back also looks like this i feel like for this one it would look really nice with like a blouse or you know like, I think it also look nice with just like a plain white t-shirt. I also like the color palette. It's very nice as well. And then moving on to some more like accessories. I got this scarf. This is a check print scarf. It's very long and it's quite wide as well. It has a fringe at the bottom like that. The colors are these like pastel -y kind of lighter colors. It looks just like the pictures. There's a lot of different colors, but I did get this one. Because I felt like it would match a lot of like the other items better, this color palette. I don't really know how to wear a scarf because I feel like there's a pretty way to wear a scarf, but I don't really know how. But anyway, I did get this scarf. It's very nice and the quality is really, really good as well. Next item I got is this mini shoulder bag. It's in this very adorable cow print. I've been seeing a lot of cow prints recently, so I saw this on Yesta and I was like, so cute. It's a mini shoulder bag. This came in two sizes. There was a size smaller and this size. So this is the bigger one. And it's like the perfect shoulder, shoulder bag size. I feel like comes with this black strap, these kind of like uh, golden embellishments, the cow print like that. And inside looks like that comes with this crossbody strap. I honestly think that it looks better without this chain because you can wear it as a crossbody if you want, I guess, but I think it's cuter as a shoulder bag. It is a little bit roomy inside. There's no like separate compartment or anything though, so that. This one looks just like the pictures. Also, one of the things that I do like about this is that the shoulder strap length is a very nice length. So when you do put it on, um, it's like a nice shoulder bag size. It's comfortable because sometimes with shoulder bags, I feel like they could be a little bit too short. So it kind of gets a little bit like in the way, but this is like a very chunky cardigan and it's still like it's very comfortable. So, but anyway, very adorable bag. It's really cute. Also, we do have a belt. It's just a black belt with this bronze square buckle. I got this to wear with the gray dress pants. So I'll show you in the try on how it looks like, but just a normal belt like that as well. And then next, we got some boots from YesStyle. This is my first time getting any type of like shoes on YesStyle, so I didn't really know what to expect. They're over the knee black boots and I actually really like them. They didn't have my shoe size in stock, so I did get a size above. Normally I would have gone a 38, but I did get a 39. I'm not sure why that is, but I guess for these it's better to size up one size because that's what I did and it fits perfectly. It has like this gray stitching in the front like that 
the zipper goes all the way down here it's like a few inches for the heel height and in the back it has like this zipper this gold zipper part and one of the cool things about this one is that it has a fleece lining so this is great because this is going to keep you really really warm and this goes all the way down to the sole as well also with these boots they're very comfortable to wear they don't hurt my feet i tried walking in them and they don't hurt my feet at all one of the things i did notice though is that the bottom of the shoes are very slippery so i think for these it's nice to put like the the stickers that you put on here to like make it non-slippery i do feel like you know that would fix that but overall the quality of these boots like the faux leather everything is very nice uh never gotten shoes on yes Dao before but they're actually quite nice we have these three bucket hats they're all a different type of material and they're different styles i've gotten a bucket hat on yes Dao before and i really liked that one i couldn't find the exact one so i did try to get a different one <laughs> this one is a little bit different it doesn't look the same it's just like a black cotton material bucket hat however this part is like very very long so <laughs> it looks a little bit weird i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like yeah, okay i don't know if you guys can tell what i'm talking about but like this part is super long i like how wide the brim is but i don't know why it's so long here i don't know but anyway this one is one of the bucket hats i got i really I don't really like it. Not the kind of bucket hat I was looking for, so. But these next two bucket hats I really like. Um, this one is a black faux fur bucket hat. It's super, super soft. And just, I really, really like this one. This one is so cute. Oh, you guys look. It's super cute. And I feel like during the winter, it's gonna really keep you warm. Uh, because it covers like the years like this I feel like it's gonna be super cozy super warm there was a lot of different colors for this one but I'm glad I got the black one I feel like it'd be easier to style with different clothing pieces but super cute and then lastly we have this bucket hat I forgot what it said it was I think they said it was a fleece bucket hat um, it's in this white color this one is also very soft as well and the fit for this one is like this is more wide it has a wired brim so you can kind of adjust it to how you want it to look like if you want it to open your like show your face more you can go like that so it's a little bit more convenient because you can adjust it to how you want it to look Looks just like the picture, super cute as well. Moving on to the skincare and makeup products. We got quite a few. Uh, we're gonna start with the skincare products first. I got these three skincare products. This one is the Uphu Badekato Side Sika Gel. Did I pronounce that right? And this is the Skin and Lab Red Serum and the Skin and Lab Red Cream. For the winter time, I wanted to try out some skincare products and these are a few that i've seen around a lot so i want to try them out this one is a concentrate gel that helps soothe and nourish tired skin i've heard of badekasor before which is a korean scar ointment it's kind of similar to like neosporin and i think that's where like this comes from this is like a gel texture so it looks like that and it's pretty lightweight it doesn't feel sticky or tacky i feel like it kind of just soaks in to the skin i haven't really used it on my skin yet so i have to see what it's like but i felt like you know during the winter time especially because you know i feel like with my dry skin it gets irritated really easily when it's like colder so i thought that this would kind of help with that and i'm excited to try this one out i'll let you guys know more about it but this was the made kaso side sika gel if i'm pronouncing that right we also have the red serum which is a dropper form looks like that this one i would say the serum is also pretty lightweight but i feel like it has like an oiliness to it so you know i feel like it's going to be moisturizing um, compared to the sika gel this one definitely does have more of a tackiness to it i've also seen this one around i want to try it it says it revitalizes skin with pomegranate high concentrate so we got a serum and then we have the cream this is 
what it looks like. This one has like a really rosy scent to it. It's a pretty strong fragrance. I feel like it'd be really moisturizing because it does have like quite some oiliness to it. And it is really sticky, like it's tacky. So um, this one I'm excited to try using as well. I feel like during the winter, this is really gonna help my dry skin. I'm gonna have to see with the skincare products what it's like kind of like in a long term to see how it does on my skin But I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know how these products are in my future videos So yeah, we got these skincare products. We have this cushion foundation This is the zero cushion number two natural 21 from Romand and I think it's the neon moon collection It has this bear here. That's in like a champagne glass. I think and it's super adorable. This is the cushion puff inside. This is the foundation I have on my face today and I really like it. This is my first time trying a Roman foundation. It applies really nicely. The coverage is very good. I use this alone and I feel like for this one, you don't need a concealer separately. It just does a lot on its own it has like a little bit of like a glowy finish to it and i really really like it. it applies really nice the coverage is really good so i did get this one and this is what i have on my face today and then i also got the blush from the same collection this one is in the shade number one dream powder this one also the packaging is super adorable like the bear is on a pillow <laughs> And then this is the blush shade. It's a very light kind of salmon color. I want to use this as like a base blush. So I did get this one. I think this was the lightest shade they had. But with Roman blushes, I've used them a couple of times and they're very nice. I also got the Roman Better Than Cheek in the number seven pear chip. And I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today. I really like this color. This is like a beige nude beige shade the color is very very pretty i feel like this is going to be one of my favorite blushes also with roman blushes what i really like about them is that they do minimize your pores it has like a pore blur effect which is really nice so the color super cute i really like it and also it minimizes your pores so that's very nice as well but this is the shade that's also on my cheeks today. And then I got the Para Para All Take Mood Palette in the shade Burnt Breeze. I've used their Coral Mingo, their Coral Palette before. I think they came out with two different shades, which was this one and the Lavender one. This is what the palette looks like. I also use this to do my eye makeup today as well. This glitter shade is so pretty. I really like it. And I used a few of their matte shades as well. I really like their coral palette. So I had high hopes for this one. It's very good. The glitter is just, the glitter is everything. This glitter is super pretty. It's my favorite. This is gonna be like a really nice daily palette. I feel like for this one, um, especially because I really like warm toned eyeshadow palettes. This one is gonna be one of my favorites I really like it. And then lastly, we have two lip products. I got this one is from Holika Holika This is the devil's plumper. This one. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen somewhere before It's a lip plumper and it's supposed to be super super spicy. I did try it on and it's not painful, but it does have a very spicy sensation, like a very tingling feeling. But I do think that it does work a little bit in plumping your lips, but it's very temporary because once the spice is gone, I feel like it wears off. But this one, I want to try to use like a lip plumper. So I got this one. And this one is the Mertzi Bite the Beat Mellow Tint in the shade number M1 Mahogany. And I've used Mercy's eye products before, but I haven't used their lip products, I don't think. So I did try to get this and it's in this like chili red shade. I really like this shade. It's like a very nice chili shade and because it is a tint, I feel like it's not drying on the lips. So I did get this one. So that is it for today's Yes Style winter haul. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Also, thank you again to Yes Style for doing this giveaway. I'll have all of the information in the description, so make sure to check that out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!